Oh, that was a terrible thing to say. I didn't mean that. <laughs> Just disregard what I said. So, um... Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Curtis, back with another episode of Mystery Pop Theater. Uh, got a lot of stuff today. I uh, don't have any mystery boxes for this video, but there's been a lot going on this week that I wanted to talk about and share. Uh, let me consult my notes. Oh, yes. Today was Emerald City Comic Con drop on uh, the Funko Shop, and all the different websites had those ex exclusives that were out, so... Um, I hope everybody got what they were after. I was only after two things. Uh, Pillsbury Doughboy with the shamrock cookie and Freddy Funko with the fish. And I got both of them. I got on there as quick as I could. And I know a lot of people missed out on the Doughboy. He sold out fast. I think he sold out in about 90 seconds, if that, which is ridiculous. So... Um, happy to have gotten him though, so I hope everybody else got what they were looking for. I know um, the Game of Thrones, I don't know how to say her name, was it Arya Stark? I, I'm not, obviously I don't watch the show, but I know that one was a popular one today. Um, so yeah, there's just a lot, of, a lot of stuff out there today. I didn't have to leave my house to go get the stuff I was after though. Fortunately, I, the, the only two I wanted were um, on the Funko shop this morning, so... Um, also, I wanted to give a shout out to Two Peas in a Pop for, uh, and thank them for having me on as a guest last night on their live stream, on their very first live stream. Uh, we had dueling mystery boxes. We had each ordered, and this was my fault, <laughs> it was confirmed. Uh, I had ordered a, one of the Toy USA 2011 spring cleaning mystery boxes for $50, and... I told, I told Jessica about it and she's like, eh, Steven doesn't want this, <laughs> but they were still up the next day. And so she bought one anyway. We ended up getting them on the same day yesterday and decided to do a live unboxing duel for these spring cleaning mystery boxes. So if you want to see how that turned out, uh, I'm going to put a link right here, here for that video. Go check out their channel. Uh, I'm sure most of you uh, probably have already seen it or subscribe. If not, go check it out. Uh, they're a lot of fun. They are just blowing through the subscribers. <laughs> they're going to have to do giveaways upon giveaways upon giveaways. Um, th that was a lot of fun, and I want to thank them again for having me as a guest on the show. So, um, I do have a couple of boxes to open, though. They aren't mystery boxes, but... Um, they do bear the magical logo. So I'm going to start with this one since I have it in my hand. Okay. And I told myself I wasn't going to get these. I got them. <laughs> um, one of my favorite lines to collect is ad icons especially the serial ad icons. So let's see, which one is in this box? Okay, this works. I do have a couple of pops in here. I will show you those. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. This packaging is great. It's the um, pocket pop and t-shirt. Captain Crunch. This was kind of ordered as a an afterthought. Not an afterthought, but they still had them in stock for a while. They're still in stock right now on, on the uh, Funko Shop. But yeah, I ordered the... Uh, I ordered all three of these. So I got this one. And the other two are the ones that I was more concerned about, so I ordered them first. They're in a separate box. But I'll show you the other ones, the uh, pops that I ended up getting. These were um, the uh, Spastic Plastic. One that I didn't jump on right away, and it's, I think, still available. But, I mean, you can see right behind me, I've, I'm really, I'm like neck deep into the Spastic Plastic line now. Um, and I have the green one of this guy, but I got Big Al. Um, I'm all for a variant. 
So added him to my collection. I love the martini he's got in his hand. And I saw a leak, I think, I don't know if, oh, someone had ordered, this was on Reddit, someone had ordered the Assassin Monkey and they were shipped a gill spastic plastic, but it was an orange gill. So somebody grabbed from the wrong pile, the wrong stockpile at Funko and uh, recipient did not get what they ordered, but they got an unreleased pop. So this Big Al, and then the other one, for those of you that follow along on the Funko shop, is the mm, motorcycle. <laughs> the other one I got was the Monkey Assassin. I just thought he was so cool, but it took every fiber of my being not to, not to purchase him because all the other spastic plastics have moved and are most of and most of them are still um, available for purchase directly from the Funko shop. So it paid off. I saved a bit on shipping because it's like $6.95 pop every time you order something from the pop-up shop. Um, and I saw a leak today on Reddit just this evening that they've already announced next Wednesday's drop and I'll try to find a picture of it to put here in the video um, it's going to be remember how they had bow in the um, the steamer basket uh, it's from another Pixar short some of you may have seen the leak before or or pictures of it before but it's from the presto short the Pixar short and it's the rabbit uh, in a top hat package and uh, his name is Alec Azam uh, I really like that short. That's one of my favorite shorts. So next Wednesday, the 20th of March, uh, at the normal time, Alec Azam in the Top Hat Presto vinyl figure. It's not a pop. Uh, that will be available for purchase on the pop-up shop. So um, that was released, I believe, that information was released at the, uh, at the con tonight. So um, yeah, so I have one more box and I'll show you, I'll show you the other two t-shirts. But I want to see, I know, I know the size of the Pocket Pops, they're teeny tiny. I have the Lucky Charms one that was a Target exclusive, and I still need to get the Trix Rabbit. Um, and the, um, I just had it in my head, Sunny, Sunny the Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, bird. I can't words tonight, sorry. It was a week, I don't know what it was about this week, but... This packaging is so cool. So here we have Fruit Loops. That comes in a cereal box. There's the shirt. Oh, it's so great. I'm just trying to look at the best. Oh, well, there's a flap. It's not like an actual box of cereal. The top is sealed like an actual box of cereal, which is a nice touch, but there's a there's a seam along the bottom there. I can just pull it open. So I'm gonna open this one up and take a look and I'll show you guys. Okay, so it's, um, I couldn't see this through the cellophane wrapper, but you can see there, there's a round, clear adhesive sticker. So if you do wanna open it from the top, like an actual box of cereal, I mean, if you want that authentic cereal experience, <laughs> You can do that, but I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open it from the bottom carefully because I want to display these boxes. These are cool. Here we go. Oh wow. Okay, so here's the shirt. But the um, I was hoping these would come in packaging similar to the other ones, but they're just in shrink wrap. And the packaging is sealed shut with a piece of, just a piece of tape. So I'm gonna have to crack all these open probably and put those out on display. Um, the last one, of course, if you were paying attention was the Tony the Tiger. So for the time being, this is probably the closest I'm ever gonna get to owning a Tony the Tiger pop. Um, but yeah, it's got the 
the pocket pop. These will look good up on the on the shelf with my other cereal ad icons. But let me just show you so I've got it. Captain Crunch. And I opened Fruit Loops and Frosted Flakes. Um, be sure to go check out the Two Peas in a Pop live stream that they had me on last night. Um, at the end, we mentioned having a rematch. Um, today, Gotcha Robot put up some boxes that were, I believe, the Meteor mystery box. Um, they were buy one, get one half off, which I thought was a good deal because normally they're $29.99 a piece. So I got one for 30 and one for 15 and then the shipping was kind of ridiculous on top of it. So it worked out to be almost, I don't remember. It was a lot of money with the shipping. Shipping was like 10 bucks, but I've had pretty good success with their boxes. Anyway, um, I'm gonna have a rematch with two peas in a pop because well, there's a reason for a rematch. I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna I'm gonna say go watch the video, see how that turned out, see what I got in the mystery box, and see what they got in their mystery box, and then join us uh, for a rematch in the near future. Um, hopefully, that will happen soon. Uh, it may it may be a while yet. Uh, as mentioned in the video last night, the um, two peas and a pop are expecting a child anytime now, so that may delay video production on their end but um we'll we'll just have to see how that shakes out depending on when we get these uh boxes delivered but they ordered a couple i ordered a couple we're gonna have a rematch so um i wanted to thank everyone that happens to be watching this that stopped by last night for coming by to, to say hi i was not terribly active in the chat because i haven't done a lot of live streams before and I was just trying to focus on the conversation I was having with them and I tried to pay attention to the chat room but because of the way I had it set up I was talking to people you know on my on the computer and then I had the chat going separately on my phone so I just I was having trouble focusing on both so if anyone had said anything to me and I ignored you I assure you it was not intentional and I'll try to get better at this because we're going to do another live stream in the near future. So anyway, that's all I had for today. Um, so yeah, I will have some more mystery boxes. I've got one coming from Tough Collectibles, uh, which has shipped out. At least a label has been made, but it, I haven't seen any movement on it yet. And then I think I mentioned in a previous video that I wasn't sure if Chrono Toys was doing a March Challenger series, but they are. I just missed the first one. Um, where about everybody pulled Space Ghost from that box, which I already had, thankfully. So um, I got a couple uh, of the Chrono Toys Challengers, and those should be here, I'm hoping tomorrow or maybe next week, early next week. And I'll have a video of those when I get those. So that's all I had today. I hope everybody had a good Friday um, and you got what you wanted from ECCC. Have a good weekend. Um, I'll be back soon with some more boxes and some more content for you. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel. Um, it's been a lot of fun still. Oh, 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 I did just pass uh, 200 subscribers this morning. So um, I will be working on another giveaway probably when I hit 250 subscribers because my first giveaway was at 100 um, and the winner of that one was Corey and he has his, a channel and he says he's going to be uh, doing a video of the mystery box that he won so as soon as I find out about that I'll be sure to share that and uh, share Corey's channel I'll put a link to Corey's channel up here so you can go subscribe and keep an eye out for that mystery box because uh, he says he's going to unbox it on his channel. So I had a lot of fun giving that away. That's all I have for today. Uh, and I will see you next time. Bye.